changes. Welcome back to Ed Hunts, and we are back at the boot sales. Let's get straight into it. I'm excited. First time back on the grass this season. Let's go. How much are your sleeves, mate? Uh, them ones are one pound twenty-five. Yeah. Uh, these ones are I'll do them two fifty today. All right. Um, I'll take one of the one twenty-five ones. Yeah. You have two for two. Hey, how you doing? Two for two. Yeah. Sweet, that's nice mate. Right. Thanks very much. So what have we got on? 50 p's. Yeah. Free for a pound. What are we saying in conditions? I'll have a look. I've just, it's just stuff I keep chucking in the box. They're all empty, Ed. All of them are empty? empty. You've got too many grams already, yet. No, I don't. But they're all no, a pound each, I need, I need more. And then there's some couple of bits. Pound each, there. yeah? Yeah, all a pound each. I'm going to come back and hunt, because I'm going to get some. Definitely, definitely. How much in your games? Three pound each. Cheers, mate. Oh, nice. How much? 20 quid. It's not complete, I think, but. Yeah. It's oh, got that in nice. there. Cheap's oh. on eBay, 80 quid. Really? Last sold, 70. Nice. Sorry, mate. How much are you to this? 35. Do 25? No, I'll do 30 the lows, mate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're working. Is it going to Oh, yeah. What? 30 quid, yeah? Yeah, oh, I'll do 30. How much, James? How much, eh? Pound each, eh? Yeah, yeah. Just checking their condition. Right, so all these pound each, eh? Yeah, all the pound each. Right. Cut the loose game. Yeah, take that. Is there any loose ones you want? Have a sale. I appreciate that, man. I've heard you got some better stuff in a bag or something. You're kidding. Let's have a look. How much do you want for them? Just going to do the cash on them and see you. So whatever they cash in that, mate. Because that's all I was going to do with them. Take them straight over there. Oh, okay. All right. We'll look them up in a minute. Yeah. Uh, well, I found one thing so far. Yeah, go on, mate, go on. I'll show you what. Uh, I've got an old Mega Drive, that's it. Oh, Mission Impossible, how much is that? How much is the Mission Impossible? Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah. I'll have that. It's complete as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah
Just Dance 4, I had it in my hand, I contemplated it and I left it, and it trades me for 5. Cheers, nice one. Cheers, mate. There we go. How much are the games, mate? 50p? No, no. John, two fifty two. got five there, mate. Uh, uh, two pairs. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, you alright? Yeah, not too bad. How you been? Yeah, good. What's on the PSP? I've got, got 50 on the PSP. I'll chuck everything else in. Oh, you got everything else with it. How much on the games? Um, three quid on the PS1. Yeah. And then I'll do three on the sealed one, and then everything else is a pound. Pound. Yeah, do a pound fifty on that? How much? Pound fifty? Yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna get a few more from here, because it's only fifty P. Oh, mate. And what? So, just came back from the first grassy boot fair of the year. We have been to some a few weeks ago in a car park and at a school, but they're not quite the same, you know, not quite the same as going to a grassy boot fair. So, yeah, first one back on the grass. Sun was out, it was pretty chilly, but managed to grab quite a few games and got a console in pretty good condition as well. So, let's get straight into the pickups. I'll show you what I've got on the first Grass Boot Fair of 2024. So, the first bits that I grabbed were these plastic um, card protectors. Now, they were two for uh, two for two pounds, so a pound each. And these are really good uh, for when I'm selling at like gaming markets for putting in loose cards. Keeps them safe, keeps them protected, and obviously you can put a price on the on the plastic, and you're not uh, hitting the cartridge. And obviously good for cards as well, but I'm not really a card collector, so I will mostly be using these for loose cards. So yeah, really happy to get these for such a good price, just one pound each. So let's start going through the games because everything else I bought today was games. So let's start going through some of the Nintendo games. Now, all of the games I'm about to show you were either 50p a pound or 150. Vast majority of them being 50p. So let's start going through. So first few games I've got is Disney's Little Mermaid. That chops in for 160, I believe. We've got Riding Stables 3D. That was only a pound. We've got another copy of the Little Mermaid. Um, that was, one of them was 50p, one of them was a pound. So £3.20 for £1.50 investment, not too bad. Zubo, very, very cheap DS game, that was 50p. Brothers in Arms D-Day on the PSP, also 50p. Shape Up on Xbox One, as you can see, 50p. Battlefield One on the PlayStation 4, I think that one was a pound. Star Wars Battlefront, PlayStation 4, I think that was a pound. Got Lost on PlayStation 3, 50p. Red Faction Gorilla on PlayStation 3, only 50p. And then we've got Hitman Absolution, also only 50p. Uh, we've got WSC Real 11. This was a pound. Now I know some of these snooky games go for a little bit of money, but this one only sells for about three or four pounds. We've got a fantastic Wii game here with Trauma Center, second opinion. 
the second one's actually quite good as well. The third one never came out in uh, the UK or the US, only came out in Japan, unfortunately. However, this is actually a really good and very cheap game. So if you ever see this around, I recommend you picking it up. That one's only 50p. We've got Bratz Really Girls Rock. I think that was a pound. Now this one is definitely one to look out for. This is LMA Manager 2007 on the PlayStation 2. Now this one was 150. Uh, the guy only had like a bunch of LMA Manager games on his table. Now I know from previous experience that 2007 is the only one for some reason that trades in for good money. Now this trades in for six pounds at CEX and they set it for 15. As a regular uh, eBay selling price so, however, of between 15 and 20 pounds and this is in really nice condition as you can see as well i'm not sure why the 2007 edition is worth more than all the others but yeah it does seem that is the case so yeah if you ever see lma manager 2007 playstation 2 and it's cheap just pick it up because it's worth more a couple of playstation 2 games robotech invasion uh on a, they're all xbox games now uh, we've got indie car series i think all these are 50p uh midnight club 2 and they're all complete and they're all in nice condition as well. I checked all of the discs, as you can see, um, and they're all like nice condition as well. So that's always an advantage and the cases are all in a good condition as well. We've got The Great Escape on the Xbox and we've got Amped, which is like a yeah, snowball game, 1080 kind of style. And then we've got a few Xbox 360 games. We've got Two Human, uh, we've got Perfect Dark Zero, and we've got Dark Void, one of the worst Capcom, game, Capcom games ever made. Uh, but yeah, all three of those, I think, were only 50 each as well. Did get some retro games. This is from my boy Wayne, so big up yourself, Wayne. Uh, we've got three Game Boy Advance games. We've got Ant Bully, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, and Bratz Diamonds. We've got two Bratz games today, and all three of those are just five pounds. And then we've got a boxed complete copy of Mission Impossible on the N64. Now this one was only nine pounds. Uh, I've got kind of a, a, a bunch of games off by and it cost 20, knocked a pound off, so I knocked it off this. And it is complete. Let's just check it is the right game. It is indeed. Uh, even if it wasn't, to be honest, I have um, two or three copies of it. So it would have been a nice surprise seeing a different game in there, but no, it's all good. Mission Impossible, complete on the N64. And probably one of the, be the best pickups of the day is this Nintendo 2DS that came with the charger and that was only 30 pounds now i tested it there and then to see if it will turn on it turned on absolutely no problem um I know, it's, it's booting up at the moment but let's just grab one of the games that i picked up riding stables 3d you can see that it is on now just so we can test it just to show you that it works and yet that read that absolutely immediately and it does come complete and that's just a 2ds for just 30 pounds so yeah really really happy with that and it came with its stylus also so that is it from today's pickups and from today's boot fair i do hope that we are able to go to the bank holiday boot fairs also um the weather doesn't look fantastic at the moment however we can only hope for the best and hope that the weather does stay dry so if you enjoyed that hit that like button consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one